I loathe intros, so I'm just gonna skip straight to it. What you can see me doing here is taking some bryophytes from a sample and then taking out a little piece of the right species and then putting that into water so it will expand and look how it's actually supposed to look. Um, and after that, I'm gonna put it, put the rest of it back. I will place in a little bubble on top of a glass and then carefully I will try to take off each leaf of the bryophyte which is a task only possible with tweezers <laughs> and then I will try to twist them so they lay with the dorsal side up that is the side where the nerve of the leaf actually sticks a bit out And then I'll lay it from the side on so I create as few bubbles as possible. And then I'll add some glycerol. And the thing is, as the water evaporates, the glycerol will be pulled underneath um, the top layer of glass. It will then conserve the leaves that I've just taken off for about a year or so. And then, of course, I do need to remember to label it so I don't forget what kind of bryophyte I have just taken out. Here you see me testing it in a microscope to see that some of the samples are actually useful and not just tiny, tiny bits that I can't make sense of. Lastly, I keep them flat and dust-free as they dry out in the folder. Mm gonna take some of that and do DNA samples oh because we're trying to figure out well we aren't a professor here is and I'm lucky enough to be able to help him so it's not project my project but like I want it to be oh. um, to figure out how three species are actually related and which one of them diverted first so it's gonna be exciting Ooh. We've gotten in a lot of new bryophytes from other places, so, but these aren't the envelopes we like. This is, so part of my job is to repackage them and make sure um, the labels are correct and all that. And this bryophyte is from 1977, and sometimes... Um, they wrap it in like a lot of weird stuff. Welcome to Biology 103 slash 104. The laboratory in biology is designed with several objects. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> That's fun though. But yeah, some of the bryophytes in this box are really, really old. I even had some from, um... 1845 so <laughs> that felt strange <laughs> um, and then I'm, I, I really want to be careful because I don't want to destroy something that's that old because it's it is irreplaceable it really is so um, luckily I haven't destroyed anything yet <laughs> Ba, 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 da. Sorry about that. <laughs> Here I'm putting samples into the big archive, our big plant collection, and everything is sorted by species and where it's found. This summer I joined in on a project collecting grass samples and here I'm weighing them before and after they're being dried out to measure both moisture and dry weight. And that is all in all what I do. It's um, It can be a repetitive job at some times but other times I get to do extraordinary things and it's just super exciting. This week I was also working in the lab but it's harder to bring a camera in there 
because um, there's a lot of instruments and we don't want any contamination because I'm working with DNA so yeah it's it's a no-go unfortunately because there's a lot of cool equipment in the lab goodness I love it there <laughs> anyway I hope you now understand that science is also a lot of tiny things to do um, which is why even if you're not educated in something like uh, physics or biology or blah, blah 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 you can still be really important to science <laughs>